Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Friday. Uh, today is Friday, April the 21st, and thank you for uh, being on this morning. And this is uh, uh, this is weekend eve, all that good stuff there, man. I trust that you've had a great week. Uh, it's been a been a tremendous week uh, here, uh, and uh, just thankful for. Uh, for the week that God has given. Look forward to the weekend. Be in prayer for our ladies. Our ladies are heading off to a ladies' retreat uh, this morning. Uh, I think my wife was leaving right about now, it sounded like. Uh, and so I'm excited for the ladies to be able to go uh, have a good time together, fellowship, and enjoy some good food, some good teaching in the Word of God, and just have a good time with other other Christian ladies. I, I, from what I heard, there's about 170-some ladies that are going to be out there from all over the state of Michigan, and maybe even some of the surrounding states, I am not sure. But anyway, be in prayer for them as they are away. Uh, they'll be back uh, Saturday uh, afternoon, uh, and I'm thankful for the opportunity opportunity that they have. And then also, don't forget, we've got services on Sunday, uh, Sunday morning, regular services beginning with Sunday school, and then our Sunday evening service at 6 o'clock. So please keep those services in mind or wherever you're watching from i would encourage you uh, be in services wherever you are watching from we'll try to get into uh, into god's house uh, wherever you are at okay uh, and so uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and dive into first corinthians this morning once again if you're on thank you for being on hit that share button so others can jump in live uh, really quick as uh, well and so uh, uh, we're looking forward to to that. Uh, uh, Kim, just saw your comment pop up there, uh, and uh, we'll uh, be praying for you and your appointment in regards to, to knee surgery, uh, and we'll be praying that that goes well uh, for you, Kim uh, Van Nuck. And so be praying for that. All of our Power Up family, be sure to be praying for Kim Van Nuck because she has that appointment today. Okay, here we go. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter number one. Uh, we're going to backtrack just for a second here, uh, and I was going to mention this yesterday, but kind of ran out of time a little bit. Uh, as we consider what's what's gone on here, we we noted in verse over ten that we are uh, there should not be any divisions. We see uh, and that there be no divisions among you in the middle of verse over ten, but that ye be perfectly joined together, as we noted that even yesterday. Verse number eleven uh, speaks about that there are contentions among you. And I just want to want to drive this home a little bit more. I know we spoke a lot about divisions yesterday, and we're going to mention. Uh, maybe a little bit more specifically than what is meant by those divisions today. and uh, and But I wanted to just kind of throw out this thought for you, and I think many of you are familiar with it. But Romans chapter 12, if you want to join me there for just a minute, we know these contentions. Uh, in in the co church at Corinth, the divisions that are being that are had amongst them, Romans chapter 12 and verse number 18 says, "If it be possible." As much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Uh, and so, want to make sure and to choose choose your disagreements, your arguments, uh, your your battles, if you will. Uh, choose those wisely. Got to think about before we uh, get into a contentious uh, argument uh, with individuals, or before we get into those types of things. You need to weigh what the potential consequences would be. Is this a battle worth fighting for? Okay, uh, and is this something that that I'm willing to? And we we hear this today uh, to die to die for, if you will. Uh, and the challenge from Romans is to live peaceably with all men, uh, and that's what Paul is encouraging the people here. Man, there's these contentions among you that don't need to be there. There's these divisions that don't need to be there. We are a, the body of Christ. We're to be, be perfectly joined together. We're to be unified in our faith. And are there some things that we separate over? Sure there is. Are there some separations that we have with the world? Yes, uh, in regards to sin and, and, and so on. Uh, in regards to maybe other maybe denominations or people of faith uh, that would be have close ties to Christianity that me, maybe many of them would be saved. Are there some divisions over doctrine? Yes, there, there's going to be some divisions over doctrine. But let's take, for example, Calvary Baptist Church, okay? 
we become a member here, or you become a member here, you're agreeing with the doctrinal positions of the church that are rooted in the scripture, okay? That's really what you're agreeing to. Uh, and, uh, and when it comes to a church body, are there things in a church body that, that we could be divided over? Of course there are. We mentioned some yesterday. Uh, but for the sake of the ministry, for the sake of the kingdom of God, we're going to put our uh, our desires and and I don't want you to take this negatively. Our selfish desires. We're to put those aside for the sake and the good of the ministry. Okay, uh, and so are there some things maybe that that we would do different? Sure, there are. Uh, are there some some things that uh, that maybe uh, we would like like. Uh, we have different preferences about sure there are but for the sake of the ministry uh, we set some of those things aside we humble ourselves and submit uh, to uh, to the authority on some of these things and so that's just kind of a uh, and, and that way we can live peacefully with all men once again looking for that <coughs> uh, for uh, unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith that's where we're supposed to be now sorry we spent so much time on that just wanted to kind of get that out there to kind of close up that thought in regards to divisions in regards to contentions now let's look specifically here uh, at what Paul flushes out here or flushes out here in, uh, uh, in in verse number 12 kind of see where part of the problem is here with the church at Corinth he says, now this I say, that every one of you saith, and, and, and look at this now, I am of Paul, and I of Apollos, and I of Cephas, and I of Christ. What's happening here? Uh, this division, or one of the divisions of the church is these people are trying to one-up one another. Hey, Paul led me to the Lord. A, Apollos led me to the Lord. Yeah, well, Cephas led me. Well, Christ. Okay? And they're trying to one-up one another, trying to top each other's ex uh, experience and say, uh, and, and cause these divisions uh, uh, in, in even the leadership of the church. Okay? Uh, and and that, can, that can happen, and that ought not to be uh, in the church. Listen, sometimes that happens in our lives as well. Uh, where people say, well, he saved me. He didn't save you, Christ saved you. And some, if we're not careful, we begin to look at the man, uh, maybe the pastor sometimes, or an individual that's, that's had significant impact and influence in my life, in our life, and we look at the man rather than looking at the man, uh, at, at the individual that that man serves, and that's Jesus Christ. Now, I'm all for giving honor to whom honor. I'm all for reverencing and respecting the position and loving individuals but we serve jesus christ uh, and yes god places an under shepherd in our life through the through the pastor the office of the pastor and different things and and those and that's great it's great to have and develop relationships uh, with mankind but remember we are looking unto jesus uh, and that that's important for us to uh, to keep straight in our life because Men are but men. Men are going to let us down. Men are going to fail. That's 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 how how we are, uh, because of our sin nature. Jesus does not fail. Jesus will not let you down. Uh, and so we need to make sure that we are following Him, uh, and not the man. I, it's so sad that there are individuals uh, that become so attached to the man, uh, the pastor, or the leadership. That when that leadership fails, then then individuals fall away from their relationship with the Lord, or when that when that leadership moves on maybe to another mission, uh, uh, ministry, another area uh, in their life, they're so distraught because that individual is left that they leave the faith. That that ought not so to be. Uh, that's unhealthy, because mankind does fail and let us down, and so we need to be looking unto. Jesus. And so let's not forget that uh, as we move forward. Look to Jesus, not the man. The question is here is in, in verse number 13, and we'll kind of uh, bring this uh, to uh, full out on Monday, but is Christ divided? 
okay? And we'll look at that a little bit more on Monday. I want to encourage you, those of you who are, who are on now, as we kind of finish up, and we're going to end there for the day. Uh, but Monday, uh, my schedule's a little bit different on Monday. I've got a meeting at 8 o'clock. Not sure how long that's going to go. Uh, so we're going to meet earlier. I'm going to try to have our power up at 7 o'clock. That'll be the goal, 7 in the morning, uh, and so that we can uh, – uh, get our study the word of god in and so just be mindful of that i don't know if you want to put that on your calendar seven o'clock power up if uh, maybe you're already up and ready uh, but anyway that's the way we're going to be on monday so i apologize for the earliness of our power up monday uh, morning there okay uh, now let's go ahead and welcome those who are commenting and watching live here today cliff and karen good morning to you thank you for uh, being on today. Brian and Cindy, good morning to you. You guys have a blessed day as well. Ingrid, good morning. Love you. Have a great time at the ladies' retreat. Uh, and I would, hey, all of you pray for me. It's me alone with five kids. I don't know if I'm going to survive. We'll see. Maybe maybe they, they'll let me live. I don't know. Benjamin, are you going to let me live? Okay, he nodded yes. Okay, good. Uh, Kim, once again, good morning to you. And so sorry that you're not going to be able to make it to the ladies' retreat. Uh, we'll get you We'll get you signed up in the fall, though, Lord willing. And uh, we'll be praying for that knee surgery appointment uh, that you have uh, today. And pray that you're able to get the ball rolling on, on all of that. Uh, thank you for your prayers as well. Charlie and Marcia, good morning to you guys. Have a great day. Uh, and Paula, thank you for listening while driving. Uh, and uh, yeah, have a great time at the, at the ladies' retreat there. Uh, and we look forward to hearing of, of your guys' great time uh, uh, in the future here. Uh, Jean, good morning to you. Thank you for your, uh, for your encouraging comment there. And it's just a, I count it a, a privilege that, uh, that, that you all would jump on and uh, be a part of this as we just kind of walk through scriptures. And it's just a tremendous opportunity to connect with people. And it's a privilege, really, to, to walk through the scriptures with you. So thank you so much for your faithfulness of watching. Jody, good morning to you. Uh, you guys have a great day out west. And David, good morning to you as well. And have a great, great weekend. All right, Lord bless you all. We'll touch base again Monday morning. Uh, be in prayer for our services, our ladies in, their, in the retreat, all that good stuff. And then we'll be back at it on Monday. Have a great day, everybody.